There you area. go. Excellent. Right. After suffering a stroke, Nancy Hinkle lost much of the use of her right hand. To make matters worse, she never got rehab and now often struggles with everyday routines. But in just one week, that's changed. Oh my gosh. I noticed I went to the grocery yesterday. I reached up. I could get things. Um, it's like it's become unfrozen. What made such a difference for Nancy was Let's this go. video game. Using a common game console, researchers developed an uncommon approach to rehab. First on the affected hand, they put a glove with sensors to control the game, and on the other is a mitt that prevents patients from relying on their healthy hand. This really promotes the person to use their affected side for all their daily activities. So it really can be conceptualized as boot camp for the affected arm. Lynn Gothier and a multidisciplinary team designed the game at the Ohio State University University Wexner Medical Center using what's known as constraint-induced movement therapy. Constraining a patient's healthy limb during rehab has proven more effective than regular therapy. Much more effective and it promotes long-term gains in motor functioning. It's just not available. Less than 1% of patients actually are able to receive it. So with this video game, she's taking it to them. And in the comfort of their own home, patients are seeing results. In early tests, they averaged a staggering 1,500 movements an hour, often without realizing it. We always ask them, how long do you think you played? And participants will say, oh, you know, maybe 10 minutes. And some of them have played 40 minutes at that point. Thanks to a type of rehab that isn't just sweat and tears, but fun and games. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Cole reporting. <laughs>